Hi, um, my name is Eddie Putera. I'm 51 years old. I'm a visual artist. I'm known um, to rebuild people's memories. Mm. The first car that they bought, um, the garage that they grew up in, the first house that the grandfather built. So the commissions I get are from people who just want to rebuild their memories. It goes from vision and the brain starts to uh, capture all these stories and, and feel and it goes down to the heart. It, it, it just, ah, uh, just stuck you in the heart. And what makes it good? Uh, you know, for example, I've got a friend who wanted me to build the house that the father built. When they reveal it during the party, the father is just tears still running out from the father's eyes. It's just like, you know, the ah, oh, the ah oh moment. But what, what creates that ah oh moment? The, the memories. Um, um, it's a manifestation of things that makes what you are. Yes. Um, it's something that reminds you of who you are. Um, who and what you are. Oh, it's a difficult question to answer. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is the toughest, toughest question ever. Uh, from that point, there are two, uh, there's two branches of art. One is the science of it, and one is the soul of it. Science is what equipment do you use, um, what kind of paper do you use, I mean, the, the science of it, how, how to blend colors, how to cut clay. Okay, but that's, that's the science of it. Huh? Yeah. The soul of it, you need the soul of it to make that science work. Uh, I can know that blue and red is purple. I, I know the science. I know the science that um, uh, if I cut clay, I need three hours. If I work with clay, I need three hours to try. Science of it. Now, the memories will trigger that, that, that the soul part of your um, the, 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 the process of creating the art. Um, the, the creative part is from memories because you know that sky is blue it cannot be just not all skies are blue what kind of blue um, then you just say ah I went to that nice place it's, it's, that blue is out of the world you know, it's, 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 it's so blue for example so it's memories that, uh, that, that finally um, the art comes in, comes in space, you know, the size of it and the soul of art. Without the memories, there's no soul in your art. You are just putting colors on that piece of paper. That's it. I, I think it is. It's I think it is. Answer. I that's think the answer. That's the answer. Okay. So the answer is that yeah. memories is the soul of creativity, the creativity. of the art. Yeah. Okay. The art, the creativity. So memories is the soul of the art. Yeah. Um, knowledge is the science of the art. So plus these two together, you get the artifact that you want to create. So how do I get inspirations when I travel, for example? I just don't see at things. I feel things. I try to feel the, uh, the, how difficult it is for that guy to be selling street on the food. I try to feel how delicious is that guy eating on the streets, for example. So when you feel, uh, it stays longer in your memory. It stays longer in, in, uh, in, in, your, in your brains. If you just see and take pictures, you go around taking pictures, you go to Eiffel Tower and take pictures, become a tourist, you don't really feel you are happy based with someone that you went holiday with, but you don't really feel, you don't really create that feel for that place. So you need to feel your you memories. Need to feel um, to add value to your memories. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, how to feel mm, a cup of coffee around the streets. Yeah. Observing and taking all this into your system. And, and when you start to feel, the memories become more valuable. Feel. Um, feel and treasure your memories because they're the soul of that's the soul of creativity that creates beautiful art.